Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. It really does mean a lot to me. So today's video is going to be my long awaited lipstick edit. So normally I do them at the start of the month and we're on the 10th of October. So I thought I'd better film it and get it up ASAP. Um, so all my lipsticks are in this, but they're not all lipsticks that I need to be using like you know so many times in the month and some of them are project pans and some of them right one of them's new i'm gonna go through it with you and i normally do swatches on the back of my hand which is dirty from the, the previous video this video that i've created this eye look um will be going on the channel soon so i'm just got, trying to wipe it off a little bit Right, so we're going to be putting some lipsticks back, but some lipsticks are going to have to stay. Um, right, so I used to do them in order of favourites, I'm not doing that. So let's talk about the ones that I know can go back, which I, I'm not going to swatch them just because they take ages to get off. They're the Too Faced Melted Mattes. Um, I have swatched them in previous videos so you'll be able to see the swatches there. This one is my favourite, it's Queen Bee, that one can go back. Um, then this one isn't really a favourite but I'm going to use it up, I wouldn't repurchase this shade again, it's just too light for me. And I that is really a bold statement considering how fair skinned I am. It's in the shade Cool Girl. And then this one I really like as well. It's probably my second favourite. It's in the shade Sellout. So those three can go back. I just need to find a space to put them without dropping things. Right, then we've got the um, Charlotte Tilbury 1975 Red. I will swatch this. I don't think I used it. And if I did, if I did, I didn't use it a lot. So that one can stay in. Right, I think I'm going to keep this YSL one in as well. It's more like a balm. It is a lipstick and quite pigmented and bright. Um, that's the shade of it. But it is like a, a more of a balm. As you can see, it's quite sheer. But yeah, we'll keep that one in. Then we've got the Ciate and Olivia Palermo in. Velveteen, this one can go back. I didn't think I'd be keeping it, but it is really, really nice. And it's it's a red that I don't really have in the collection. Really good for this time of year, I think. Do I want to put it back? Yeah, we'll put it back. Because there's bound to be other shades that I can bring out. Um, and then we've got the Olivia Palermo in the shade Truffle which is more of a nude. It is very, very nude and I thought it would be decluttering it, but I want to keep it. So that one can go back. Then we have this, um, Revolution Pro in Seclusion. I really like this. It's great for autumn. So I think I'm going to be keeping this one out. That's that one there. Keep that one. Then this one is Project Pan. Um, so it's the Dior in the shade Underground. Just do a quick swatch of that. So that one always stays in there. Just like a gloss lip balm again. Um, so yeah, that one can stay. Then we have this matte lipstick by Primark. It's in the shade um, Velvet Touch. I think I'm going to put it back just because I've got some Revolution lipsticks like in this kind of brown tone and I think I want to pull them. Um, but this one's a matte. I don't know if they're matte. I don't think they are. Let's leave it um, until I know for sure what I'm pulling. Then we've got this Emco Beauty. Now we all know that I got this from Birchbox which I've now since cancelled. Um, I do like the shade, don't get me wrong. It's just the scent of it, so that's the scent there. Sorry, that's the shade there. It's in the shade Petal. Um, 
we're gonna need at least one nude pink in aren't we leave it um, I just want to get more of an opinion on it um, we've got the Chanel red I've used this a couple of times I used this in a recent video as well Wow, I've got an itchy eye this one is in the shade passion I don't know where to put it here maybe that one can go back um, I've got this makeup forever one I've only used it once I want to keep this in for autumn it's such a beautiful metallic bronzy shade and I think it would look good like it's a bronzy red isn't it um, so yeah I want to keep that in then we've got Max Velvet Teddy um, what am I doing with this one I don't know part of me really wants to keep this one in just because I've been enjoying using it and I've not used it that much and also it's a matte um, so yeah we'll keep that one in as well but this one I've not used at all um, this wet and wild in in the flesh because we're keeping in the um, MAC one I think I'm gonna put this one back which is a little bit more pinker um, so yeah we'll put that one back then we have got this um, this Mali lip crayon is kind of in an unofficial project pan it's really nice that's the shade that it looks similar to the wet and wild one doesn't it the wet and wild's there and then the Mali one's there the Mali one is just more of a I would say satin cream um, so that stays in all the time then we've got this one this one is a new addition to the NYX lingerie collection I have I'm gonna keep it in I don't know how I feel about it um, <clears throat> so yeah we're just gonna keep this one in this is in the shade Corsa um, so that looks like that again I'm not gonna put it on my hand or anything just because they are lipstick are liquid lipsticks and dry down um, kind of like so you can't get them off um, right and then I think it's just project pants so we've got this deck of scarlet didn't use that at all let's put that there um, we've also got this Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade of Fig not used that we've got this I've not used that at all I don't know why that's in there um, but we need to try and use it up as well as the Lancome Lip Lover um, I think it's in the shade Ballet excuse me my voice is going then I've got I don't remember using the Lottie Slay all day so that has to stay in until I have used it it's in the shade Work It and also I don't know if I've used this shade by Primark it's a liquid matte in the shade Vintage so keep them um, I am going to bring at least another five or six in I mean we've kept the majority of the lipsticks from last month I'm just wondering is there anything well there's only four spots there I'm just wondering if there's anything else that I can actually put away there probably is but I don't want to I want to actually you know see if I do want to keep them in the collection let's just see what I want to use for this month I know there's some more like brown orange toned lipsticks I want to use by revolution so let me go and grab them and then we'll decide if I can actually take anything out of there and um, I don't know bring them back in next month maybe right so the external light went on me it's only been charging for like 10 15 minutes so I don't know how far we're gonna get I have pulled some lipsticks but then I watched someone's shop my stash and remembered that I have mini lipsticks as well that I've not used in a hot second so I want to use some of them well practically all of them um, so I'll just show you what I pulled in full size first oh, quite a few to be honest okay just don't know where I'm gonna put these 
Right, so let's talk um, Deck of Scarlet. So I got these when I was subscribed to Deck of Scar Scarlet's subscription service. I can't talk today again. Um, so we've got like a lip liner on one end in this one. And then I think it's kind of a plum shade. Yeah, a plum shade on the other. They're just lip crayons, so they'll slot into the lip crayon section of my like little acrylic and then I've got another one which is slightly darker um, so I wanted to have a little play with these because I think these are the darker shades in my collection um, so let's put them there then we've got quite a lot of revolution ones so we've got these ones the one that the ones that look very very Charlotte Tilbury-esque so this one is in the shade lifelong they're just really really beautiful for autumn I, I believe um, so they can go there they can go there and then we've got Triumph oh it's one of my favourites it's like a real orange tone shade it would look good with this jumper as I've got lipstick on I'm not going to try it on though that's that um, then we've got greatest which again is really really nice um then we have rebirth oh this is one of my favorites as well this is really really orange tone and again it would look nice with this top <coughs> then i have maybelline um so this was the maybelline and puma collab and this one is in the shade unapologetic I don't know how I feel about this so I definitely want to use it and then we've got all the little ones so let's go through the Smashbox ones so we've got inspiration which again is just it's like more like a raspberry tone than a red tone I would say inspiration I don't know where I'm gonna put all these lipsticks We've also got Fig, which is more on the like cranberry side. Um, and this one is more red, it's called Legendary. So the other one was more raspberry and this one is more of a blue toned red. Then I want to pull all my Steelers out, my mini Steeler lipsticks out, just because I think there's one in here that I think I'm going to declutter which is this one it's a really dark brown and it's in the shade Serenata so put that there then we have two that I really like we've got Perla and Patina I think yeah Patina I know for a fact I like them so we'll use them up dropped I think I'm gonna do guys just thinking about it is I think I'm gonna put them back into the makeup collection and pull them out another time and then I'll I'll have room at the back of the acrylic to put these minis right I'm also gonna pull this Ciate um, and Chloe Morello in the shade Sydney that can go at the back and then we've got three Charlotte Tilbury's the minis ones the mini ones two of them I'm really not sure I want to keep in the collection Bitch perfect. Um, is a maybe. Um, they just cost so much money. I don't really want to get rid of them. Penelope Pink though is a possible. Will be getting decluttered. I mean, it's just really, really light. And I know that I could put it over a like a more pinky toned lipstick to get that ombre lip effect, and I might do that. Um, but I don't just wear. I don't just wear it by itself. I mean most lipsticks i like to just wear by themselves and then my favorite one is this so marilyn i'm just gonna take the the ribbon off it i really don't like these i know why they put them on they put them on as christmas tree ornaments um at the time but i don't need them and then that's another blue toned red so yeah we've got a lot of lipsticks to work on this month um again i'll be doing the lipstick edit later it'll be around the 10th of 10th of November next month just because we're putting this one up 
probably the 11th actually it will probably go up tomorrow and then we'll do it again on the 11th of November or a little bit later um, I just want to give myself a chance to use all those lipsticks and then I can give you some feedback on them decide whether I'm gonna keep or declutter some of them and then probably next month we'll do the declutter um, of the lipsticks so guys this concludes the video thank you so so much for watching I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below click the notifications bell please like share and comment and I will see you in my next one bye guys